Resident Evil 4 VR for the Oculus Quest 2 is here, but this virtual reality remake is more than just a change of perspective. From updated cutscenes to welcomes combat improvements, here are some of the biggest differences in Resident Evil 4 VR. Resident Evil has never been shy when it comes to dishing out B-movie tier dialogue. Whether it's an awkward compliment given out by Barry Burton, a second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich, or Leon's brazen, no thanks, bro, when face to face with Salazar. There's no shortage of sentences that'll leave you rolling your eyes. But in Resident Evil 4 VR, some of those more questionable lines, yes, yeah, I'm looking at you, Dr. Sarah, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics too. How rude! Have either been edited or removed altogether. Here's all the examples we've noticed during our playthrough. Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Leon! Small world, eh? Well, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics, too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, oh excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she... Leon! Small world, eh? Who are you? Oh, oh, excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she... So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. After the credits have rolled, an extra post credit scene plays out between Hunnigan and Leon, which goes like this. Hunnigan, is that you? Finally, the line's Jack Free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty. But in the VR version, this post credit scene was removed entirely. And there's another small change, which is found at the start of the game when Leon comes across the impaled body of a female villager. In the original release, it reads... But in the VR version, it's been altered to... Despite being the John Wick of the Resident Evil universe, those quick gunslinging skills have never quite translated all too well in the games, especially in RE4. 
but in the VR port, Leon is finally able to both shoot and move his legs at the same time. Worried about that incoming axe? Just bob and weave out of the way. Stressed about those pesky regenerators? Don't sweat it. Just blind fire around a corner without having to expose your vitals. It's clear that Armature has put a lot of care into how you'll be taking on those hordes of Ganados, and brushing between an enemy as you dodge its attack whilst headshotting another is a pleasure worth experiencing. If you're feeling especially cool, you can even perform a trick or two by flinging your gun, knife, or even both upwards into the air and catching them as they fall with a spin. But the improvements don't just stop there. If there's one thing RE4 perfected all those years ago is its iconic inventory system. The ever so satisfying Tetris-like attache case is back, but this time, Leon also comes with functional holsters for nearly everything he needs, from healing items to ammo and, of course, weapons. Find yourself backed into a tough spot? Remember, every weapon is now within arm's reach. Need a bit more firepower? Reach behind your back for your trusty shotgun. Feeling tactical? Slide your knife out and pair it alongside your trusty silver ghost. Equipping weapons has never been easier, so use that to your advantage. QTEs are still featured in RE4 VR, but have been altered to be slightly easier. When running away from boulders, you'll wave your arms up and down as if you're running, but this time, there's no quick time event at the end of that chase. They've even included a slow motion effect at the start of most quick time events, just to prepare you, something which didn't happen in the original version. Leon isn't the only character to have some change. Boss encounters have been altered too, such as the infected amphibian beast known as Del Lago. You still fight the monster in a small motorboat, but instead of pretending to lob hooks into its flesh by flailing your arms about in VR, you'll instead be making use of the new harpoon gun to smoothly take aim and fire. A nice change, but that doesn't mean it's gotten any easier, as this boss fight still plays out at a neck break speed. The same can be said for the LG Gigante boss fight as well, which now allows the player to slash at the monster's plaga growth with their own knife, instead of taking part in a QTE button mashing minigame. While Leon's campaign is fully playable, the same can't be said for some of the extra modes that are mainstays in Resi 4. The unlockable Mercenaries minigame, earned by completing the main game on any difficulty, is sadly absent. In Mercenaries, if you were skilled enough to earn a 5-star ranking on every stage with all characters, you'd normally unlock the Hand Cannon, one of the most powerful weapons in the game, but sadly we haven't been able to find it yet in this VR remake. The same goes for both Assignment, Ada, and Separate Ways, as both aren't included. Which in turn probably means both the Chicago typewriter and the Special 2 costume set are most likely not unlockable in the traditional sense with RE4 VR as well. But what is new to Resident Evil 4 VR is a version of the Merchant Shooting Range Gallery accessible straight away from the main menu. This specific shooting gallery is perfect for brushing up on your firearm skills before starting the campaign, but it does differ slightly from the one you'll find during your own playthrough once you eventually reach Salazar's Castle. As you play through Resi 4's story, you'll be able to compete against the merchant's high scores and earn fun prizes by going through these blue doors, something you can't do if you're coming in straight from the main menu. Whether it's a key, a treasure, or even a box of ammo, Resident Evil 4 VR is full of inventory to juggle. Since Armature Studios has up over 4,500 textures, you'll really be able to appreciate this gloomy world just a little bit more. Even the opening has clear visual improvements. Just look at those ground textures. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Looking at the fine details of the pearl pendant or appreciating the shine of a beautiful ruby is quite refreshing especially since everything in RE4 is always looking to remove your head from your shoulders. Even locked doors are now a fun change of pace, having to grab the key from your inventory, slot it into the lock, and slowly turn the key yourself. Puzzles have also been altered. Instead of various text menus to navigate whichever puzzle you're facing, now everything can be solved from a push of a button or a grab of an orb. Every puzzle is now a physical presence within the world and helps to ground you in Leon and Ashley's struggle. Even saving the dog at the start now requires the use of both hands in order to free your furry friend from a bear trap. So get ready, because you'll be getting up close and personal with everything in Resident Evil 4 VR. Even this lovely cow. Spotted anything else that's changed? Let us know in the comments below, and for more Resi 4 VR, make sure to watch the first 16 minutes of gameplay or our boss fight gameplay video.